so I'm just going to do a quick little bloom. I've just poured down my um, house paint base there, so it's quite thick. I'm just going to now do a little puddle of colours. I've got a lot of colours here. Um, I'm just going to do the true pink, so I'm putting Venus down first in the middle. Followed by Flamingo. Oops. And then Hustle. Beautiful bright pink. And now a little bit of the um, sequins. Go straight under the black. I'm just going to put a little bit of that around the edges. And I'd also like just a little bit of the silver, which is sterling. Tiny bit of that. Maybe just put a little bit of that around the edges too. Okay. So now a bit of cell activator. I'm just losing my my turntable is not completely straight or level I should say clearly there's that bubble just lay down some cell activator which is the Amsterdam oxide black mixed with Australian flow troll not going to put too much and I'm just going to blow that out with my little mini blower so here we go Looks like I've probably put too much cell activator in the middle there by the look of all that. So we'll just um, get my heat torch. And we'll burst bubbles, but it'll also help to bring up the cells in the middle there. And you can also just um, get a straw and gently blow into the centre. Don't want to come up. Just leave it for a couple of seconds and just see if anything does show up. One tiny little one coming up. Yeah, it gave it a good hard blow and that brought it up. There you go. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the paint to sort of come back in underneath there. And then I'll give it a spin. I've just been gently though because I'm up off the um, turntable, mainly because I don't want to drop the tile down into all that paint that I've got lying there. It hasn't come quite back, but I think I need to spin. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to do a couple of wrecking lines. And now I'll spin. Oh, 
it's pretty. I'm loving that center where I blew it out with the straw. I just need to get it to the edges more, so I'm going to spin a bit harder. Spin the other way. Okay, it's not quite getting to the corners, so I'm just going to pick up a bit of paint off the table here. Let's bring it to those corners. Make sure all the sides are covered as well, which they seem to be. It was just those corners that weren't. Okay, well, that's interesting, if nothing else. I like that center. I do like it and I don't like it. I want some paint to get over there. So I might just give it a slight tilt. Get rid of that corner. Hopefully it won't fall out of my hands and do a backflip like one did recently. It's nearly there. And there. Now I'll try and bring that back to the centre. That's about in the centre there, more or less. Okay, a little spin again. I feel like I want to do something with that. I don't like that bit there where there's no cells. Okay, it's very interesting. I do like it there, but I just want to just define it a little bit more. Make it a little bit of a swirl around. This guy here I don't like, so I'll try and bring some colour from here into it, just to break that up a bit. Okay, well, I don't think that's too bad. Just make sure I've got enough paint on the edges there. And then make sure you always scrape the paint from underneath. Otherwise, it will continue to be dragged off. And then when you come to look at your pattern the next morning, it'll be all over the table. Okay, so what do you think of that one, guys? I don't often do a proper bloom. Um, as you know, I like my wrecking lines to not go skew with. In this case, that's turned out nicely. This is just like actually a butterfly in the middle there. But it's got transparent wings. It's, it's really pretty. Bring that into it a bit as well. And this piece here. Not going to be able to stop now, see?
Okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Alrighty. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. And I'll bring you down for a close-up. Coming down for the close-up. I'm really loving how this one's turned out, actually. As I say, I don't do a normal bloom very often. And I'm just loving that little butterfly that's appeared in the middle there. It's gorgeous. That's where I had to blow hard to bring the cells up in the middle. So we've got some lovely cells here, as you can see, and some nice wrecking lines. And my little butterfly in the middle. Okay, so hopefully you all enjoyed that one today, guys. And I will see you back here in Studio 33 in the not-too-distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.